Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on how to solve the second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation using generating function. In the previous video, we are already solved two example problems on how to solve the homogeneous recurrence relation that is of second order using generating function that can be discussed in that previous video. Please refer that videos for better understanding of how to solve the second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation using generating function in this video. Okay. So solve the following recurrence relation a sub x n plus 2 minus 2 into a sub x n plus 1 plus a sub x n is equal to 2 power n. Okay. So right hand side of the given recurrence relation so does not equals to 0. So that we can say that it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Whenever the right hand side of a given recurrence relation is equal to 0, so then we can say that it is a homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. So because of the reason we can say that the right hand side of the given recurrence relation is not equal to 0 that means 2 power n not equal to 0 hence we can say that it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Next here n plus 2 term n plus 1 term n term is there so that it is a second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. So, given recurrence relation is this one. This can be treated as equation of 1. Okay. The second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation using the generating function has the following form. That is a sub x n plus 2 plus a into a sub x n plus 1 plus b into a sub x n is equal to is equal to f of n. Okay. Is equal to f of n. Here I am writing pi of n. In the previous case, we have to do f of n. Here in this case, I am writing pi of n. Okay. So this is equation 2. Okay. Now compare equation 1 and 2 for getting the values of a, b and Pi, pi n value. Okay. So, here a sub x n plus 1 coefficient is capital A. a sub x n coefficient is capital B. Okay. Now, here a sub x n plus 1 coefficient is minus 2. Here a sub x n coefficient is a 1. Now, we are comparing equation 2 with equation 1. Here a value is equal to minus 2 a value is equal to minus 2 and b value is equal to 1 and pi of n is equal to 2 power n. Okay. Here a value is equal to minus 2, b value is equal to 1 after comparing equation 1 and 2. Okay. So here we have to use two generating function here we have to use two generating functions. Two generating functions. So that two generating functions are f of x and g of x. Okay. So here first I am go for, I will go for g of x. So g of x is equal to Sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity pi of n into x power n. Okay. So here what is pi of n value? That is 2 power n. So here sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity pi of n value is equal to 2 power n. 2 power n into x power n. So here uh, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. So, it can be written as 2x whole power n. Okay. So, 
what is the generating function for 2x whole power n it can be written as 2x whole power 0 here 2x whole power 1 here 2x whole power 2 up to 2x whole power n if n value is equal to 0 it becomes 2x power 0 if n value is equal to 1 it becomes 2x power 1 if n value is equal to 2 it becomes 2x power 2 if n value is equal to n it becomes 2x power n okay so here this is 2x power 0 is nothing but 1 anything power 0 is nothing but 1 1 plus 2x so here 4x square up to so 2x whole power n that is 2 power n into x power n so what is the equivalent generating function 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 so this is the equivalent generating function for the given sequence okay how we are getting that can be discussed in the uh, introduction videos of the generating functions how we are generating the generating function from the given sequence please refer that video for uh, how to get 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 from the given sequence okay so once we are getting the g of x value 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 then next we go for another generating function that is a f of x f of x is equal to a naught plus sorry a1 a naught plus a1 plus a naught a into x plus x square into g of x x square into g of x divided by 1 plus a x plus b x square so this is the generating function that is f of x here the generating function for g of x okay now substitute uh, whatever the given values a naught value a1 value and g of x value a value and b value these values are substituted in f of x from here a is equal to minus 2 b is equal to 1 and a naught is equal to 1 a1 is equal to 2 first a naught is equal to 1 1 plus next a1 a1 value is 2 2 plus a naught value 1 into a into x plus here x square into what is g of x value here 1 minus 2 x whole power minus 1 divided by 1 plus a what is a value minus 2 so minus 2 in minus 2 x and what is b value that is 1 so that is x square okay so now 1 plus okay here 2 plus what is a value here 2 plus a naught value 1 and what is a value minus 2 minus 2 into x plus x square into 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 divided by x square minus 2x plus 1 okay so now 1 plus here 2 1 into minus 2 1 into minus 2 is nothing but uh, minus 2 so my 2 plus minus 2 that is 0x 2 plus 2 minus 2 into x plus x square into 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 divided by x square minus 2x plus 1. So that is equal to 2 minus 2 that is 0. 0 into x that is equal to 0. So that is 1 plus x square into 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 divided by x square minus 2x plus 1 okay next one so f of x is equal to 1 plus x square into 1 minus 2x whole power minus 1 divided by x square minus 2x plus 1 so it can be written as 1 plus x square this can be sent to the denominator that is uh, 
वन माइनस टू एक्स हियर पावर माइनस वन इज चेंज टू प्लस वन पावर बाय यूजिंग बाय सेंडिंग वन माइनस टू एक्स टू द डिनोमिनेटर ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वी गेट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन हियर वी कैन टेक द एलसीएम दैट इज वन माइनस टू एक्स सो हियर वन माइनस टू एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन ओके सो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस टू एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस टू एक्स इनटू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन ओके सो नाउ दिस वन एंड दिस वन इज कैंसल सो देन वन बाय वन माइनस टू एक्स वन बाय वन माइनस टू एक्स ओके सो दिस इज द एफ ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू ओके सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस वन माइनस टू एक्स होल पावर माइनस वन ओके सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू इनफिनिटी टू एक्स होल पावर एन ओके सो दिस इज द जेनरेटिंग वन माइनस टू एक्स होल पावर माइनस वन कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू एक्स होल पावर एन सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एस सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू इनफिनिटी सो टू पावर एन इनटू एक्स पावर एन सो दिस इज द एफ ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग सो हियर वी नो दैट we know that f of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a of x n into x power n okay so since since we find that since we find that okay so here this f of x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a of x n into x power n is compared with this one so this is equation 3 okay this one is compared with the uh, equation 3 okay so x power n x power n is same sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity f of x f of x so here a of x n value is equal to 2 power n so therefore a of x n is equal to 2 power n okay so this is the generating function we are getting after solving the given recurrence relation okay so this is here this is a a of x n okay so a of x n is equal to 2 power n okay here two initial conditions are given what are the initial conditions a not is equal to 1 a1 is equal to 2 we have to verify that these two initial conditions are uh, very correct or not okay by by substituting n is equal to 0 in the generating function if n is equal to 0 so that is a not is equal to 2 power 0 okay So two power zero is equal to one. A naught is equal to one. Okay. First initial condition is satisfied. Next, a one is equal to two. That means substitute n is equal to one. Okay. If n is equal to one is substituted in the generating function, a one is equal to two power one. So two power one is equal to two. Okay. The second generating function is also satisfied. Okay. A naught means If we are substituting n is equal to zero in a sub x n, we are getting a naught is equal to one. A one is equal to two means we are substituting n is equal to one in the generating function. We are getting a one is equal to two or not? Yes. After substituting n is equal to zero, a naught is equal to one. We are getting after substituting n is equal to one, we are getting a one is equal to two. So our generating function is correct. It satisfies the two initial conditions. Okay. So in this way, we have to solve the non-homogeneous second-order recurrence relation using generating function. 
so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so the velas rinivas rao thank you